one trillion gold. This is an ungodly amount of money that no one player has ever acquired or really needed, but that's besides the point. But thanks to Trailblazer Reloaded, it might just be possible to acquire this much money in a reasonable amount of time. I've broken this down into a three-step plan. Step one, play the league. Step two, step three, we got a trillion gold. Now you might be asking yourself, what is the point of having one trill on an Iron Man game mode? Well, I'll just refer to step two. <laughs> Now to accomplish our goal, we're going to need to take some of the less meta regions and some specific relics, and I'm not 100% sure this is going to work, but we're going to try anyway. Leagues 4, everyone. Here we are, guys. Leagues 4 has started. I'm really excited. We woke up at 5 a.m. for this, so let's get started. So the goal or kind of side goal of this Leagues series, try to get a trillion gold. Now I think this should be possible and it's mostly due to a tier three relic. Now in leagues, you get access to eight relics, and the very first decision we have to make is actually choosing a relic. Okay, well, let's go through this tutorial quickly. Wait a second, where the hell is Karamja? There we go, we get to pick it. All right, so the first major decision of any league, you get to pick your first relic. Relics are incredibly powerful, they completely change the way you play the game, and to start off, we get access to three. Endless Harvest, Production Prodigy, and Trickster. Each have their own unique benefits, but for the build and path I'm going, Production Prodigy is a no-brainer. This will instantly process most production goods, like cooking fish, turning logs into arrows, cutting gems, stuff like that. You get plus 12 to all your production skills, as well as you get like 25% more automatically deposited into your bank. It has so much, honestly, I think this is the strongest relic, but maybe I'm biased. So to unlock our first area, we need 58 tasks complete, and for the next relic, 480 points. So let's just start off with doing some easy tasks around Lumbridge. <laughs> Thought this would be easy, I can't see anything, what the, where's the man? Okay, first real task of the account, we got one level, that's 10 league points. So there's kind of two strategies you want to keep in mind. Completing a lot of tasks is good for unlocking a new region, but completing tasks that are worth high points is good for unlocking more relics. Easy tasks give you 10 points and are, like the name implies, easy to complete. They're the best way to grind out a new region, but easy tasks only give 10 points, where mediums give 40, hards give 70 or 80 or something, and it scales up from there. Now to enact my plan, we need to unlock one region and two more relics. Even in Trailblazer, fishing shrimp is goddamn slow. Now, I'm not actually going into this with much of a plan besides the 1 trillion gold plan. We didn't really look up a starting strategy, a starting route. We're just kind of doing easy tasks to begin with. And once I start kind of clearing up my list a bit, we'll set maybe a bit more of a specific direction I want to go in. Now, one thing I'm going to try to avoid in the beginning are tasks that are kind of competitive. God, even these trees around Lumberge right now are kind of competitive, although not too bad. But things like killing a lesser demon, which is only one in Mistelin, or mining iron ore, stuff like that, kind of competitive right now, so it might be kind of a waste of time. We'll see, maybe we'll get around to it today at some point. Now just kind of quickly looking at the task list, I've noticed there's a couple of medium tasks that are pretty easy to do in relation to wood cutting. Not only is there a task for chopping willow logs, there's one for burning willow logs, as well as for each forestry event. Oh my god, there's one right there. Okay, I think we just should have to, like, participate to any degree. Hopefully this will get us the task. Oh yeah, look at that. 40 points for that one. So each medium I can complete, you know, that's the equivalent of doing four easy tasks in a way. So whenever I want to kind of take a second to try to plan stuff out, we're going to fish some shrimp because it's so slow. Have you really even played leagues until you've danced in the graveyard or cried in the wheat field? Okay, so we're really poor right now. We have just enough coins to buy a steel axe, but all our money problems are gonna be ended pretty soon, I think. Oh my God, there we go. Finally got an anchovy. That took a long time for leagues, I think. Hey, there we go. Another medium task complete. First level 30 of the account. These total levels and level milestones are really good to begin with. And the easiest way to get them is normally just with a quick skill, like fire making, cooking, or wood cutting or something. 
Plus, we just chopped some roots, which just spawned perfectly at the right time. That's another 40 points for that forestry event. I think those are the two that we can get by default, so we might not be able to get any more from forestry, but still 80 free points, we'll take those. Oh my god, the world is on fire. I swear to god, every tile that can have a fire on it has one. Oh, there's our very first level 40, which is another 40 league points for that one. Pretty easy, just got it from woodcutting. The forestry events give you a ton of experience in the beginning as well. And just like that, we're already really close to our second relic. So day one, ore mining strategy. Don't back down, don't change rocks. People are changing rocks as soon as it depletes. It responds quickly. Just don't back down, keep mining it. Oh, look at that guys, we can unlock our tier two relic. Oh, I'm excited. Now the quicker you can get this done, the better, because not only do you get a powerful utility item, but the experience rate goes from five times to eight times. You really want to just do this as quickly as possible. Don't spend too much time training skills because, well, your XP multiplier is about to go up a bunch. Okay, it's already time for our second big decision. We get two options in the tier two relic, Fairy's Flight or Globetrotter. They're both pretty good options. Globetrotter is like a portable portal nexus, for lack of a better word. Fairy's Flight gives you access to fairy rings, spirit trees, and also notably, two leprechauns. That last one kind of swayed me. Instant teleport to farming patches. So good, and I think we're gonna take Fairy's Flight. There's another reason that we'll explain a bit more once we take our region, but it's gotta be Fairy's Flight. So just like that, we are now only one relic and one region away from enacting the master plan, which is really just a stupid idea because it's not going to really benefit us that much. But hey, we're milking the cow. We finally finished up most of the easy tasks in Lumbridge and now we're just moving on to Varrock. Oh my god, we almost died doing that. Hey, we'll take some tea, why not? So not only can you pet the dog in Varrock, but you can also pet the dog on Fossil Island. 10 points for going there, 10 points for petting the dog once we can find it. Hey, there we go. I love how one of the tasks is just listen to an old person for a minute. Probably the hardest task so far. Okay, we finished up Cook's Assistant just so we can use the range. Why not? Easy 10 points. Okay, this is only 10 points, but we're also going to get a ton of Slayer and Hunter experience. That's really nice. 25 of both. Super nice boost, regardless of what region we go to, 25 Hunter is a huge time save, and same with Slayer. Okay, so something I didn't actually know about, there's a way to get Flax in Mistelin. You have to go to the Isle of Souls, this gigantic monstrosity has a small Flax field somewhere. Oh, there's some Flax. Someone just dropped these on the ground? Okay. Ah, it's over here. Oh my god, we finally found it. Now the reason we're picking some flax is because there's a number of tasks that require you to fletch a bow and we need to make a bowstring. Ugh, production master, so good. Instant bowstring making. I'm sure that will scale into the late game with no drop off whatsoever. Okay, first one, fletch an oak short bow. Pretty easy. The second one though, fletch a willow short bow. That is a medium task, so that's 40 points for that one. Pretty easy task. So we have a couple medium tasks lined up here. First one just gonna be our first level 50 skill, which is woodcutting. Mostly thanks to these forestry events, they're so good. But at the same time, we were able to chop 100 willow logs. That's another 40 points for that one. But wait, there's more. We get to burn those willow logs as well for another medium task for another 40 points. There's a mark of grace, and that was the final task we need to unlock our very first region. Okay, well we're already doing some rooftops, so we finished up the medium task to do 10 rooftops. That one's also really easy. And here it is, our first region we can select. Probably some of the most popular ones are the Desert, Asgarnia, Zaya, Kandarin. But we're gonna go with one that's not nearly as popular, and definitely not as popular as a first pick, Fremenic. Fremenic is a key part of our 1 trillion gold plan. There's some big drawbacks though to the region. I looked at the task list. They kind of suck, at least for easy and mediums. That's all I've looked at. There's like hardly any tasks to complete at early levels. So not a great pick. All right, let's pick it. Oh, RNG is on point today. Frog random event. You actually really want that one because with this frog token, we can bring it to Varrock and complete a medium task. Trade this in for a frog hat and equip it. 
And just like that, that's another 40 points. Does this furnace even work on iron? I'm kind of curious. Ah, it does. Nice. Pretty sure you can only make bronze items here, though. So we teleported to Fremenic because there's one medium task that's apparently easy, and it's just to get to the lighthouse using the stone steps. What? You need Kandarin to do this? God damn it, that's super lame. Maybe there's some other way to do it, I don't know. Well, we might as well go to Fremenic while we're here. So for picking the Fremenic region, we get access to two major quests. We get Secrets of the North. This is a pretty big one because just by picking it, we completed multiple tasks because you get auto-completed quests. So that's actually pretty nice. We also completed Dragon Slayer 2 and all the prerequisite quests. That's also a, another ginormous quest I'm really happy is auto-completed. Two Master 2 quests, that's actually one of the bigger pluses of the region. That means we have Fremenic Trials done already, which means we can go to Yatizo and complete at least one easy task in the region. That's simply just a bank, so we'll take that one, I guess. My god, we are finally able to mine 50 iron. That was a process. Now, thanks to all the auto-completed quests, we got like, I think, 200 league points almost just from those quests, which is really, really nice. You can see we only actually have 130 points left until we can get our tier 3 relic, and that's really the one I want. <laughs> you're kidding. Apparently, filling the crate with 10 bananas? Medium task, okay. In Fremnik, I have to kill a fucking basilisk knight, and that's also a medium task, but apparently loading some banana crates is equally as hard. Oh, I'm not complaining, let's take our 40 points. So with that lap of the Varrock Agility course, we only have one task left to do, and I think it's fitting we do a Fremnik one. It took a minute to figure out how to get here, but the final task? Bank at the Lunar Bank. And with that, we can finally unlock our Tier 3 Relic. So Tier 3 is where things really start to get crazy. You have two options here, Banker's Note or Fire Sale. Banker's Note is an interesting relic. It allows you to note or unnote items anywhere through an item you get in your inventory. But this is the easiest decision of all of them for me. I'm 100% taking Fire Sale. Probably one of the strongest early game relics there's ever been in a league. Fire Sale makes it so every single shop in the game is free. Not only that, you can buy items noted from the shops and there's like no delay. You can just amass items super quickly. This item, this relic is so good and there's so many potential uses for it. But as you can imagine, this is a key part of my 1 trillion gold plan. So we're 100% gonna take it. Fire Sale has been unlocked. Okay, so the first shop we're just gonna try it out on, we need some runes, so let's just go over to Aubrey's rune shop. Now thank Christ for a rune light, we can set the auto buy option to buy 50, and then we just spam click, look at that, we have 5,000 death runes, tons of elemental runes, and that took me seconds. I'm getting the feeling my fingers are gonna hurt this league. Okay, we're heading over to Keldegrim, because Keldegrim probably has the highest GP per hour moneymaker that RuneScape's ever seen. Not that it matters because it's Ironman, but you get the point. So if we come down here to a very special shop, the Stonemason shop, it has some of the most expensive items for sale in the game. But the one we're looking at, Condensed Gold. We can buy it for zero GP and we can buy it noted. Now one thing to keep in mind is we buy 50, but you only get 10 at a time because that's the shop's stock. Never depletes, but slows down the buying process. So what's the value of 10 condensed gold? A hundred million gold, at least in the main game. But condensed gold has an incredibly high, high alk value of nearly five mil, which means once we can start alking these things, whoa, we're gonna be rich. So let's, uh, let's buy some. Ten thousand condensed gold in about five minutes. My fingers hurt a bit, but it was worth it. How much is ten thousand condensed gold worth? Well, well, the price checker doesn't work because it's above max cash. But if we dump it into our bank, we have a eighty-four bill bank already, ladies and gentlemen. Not bad for like two hours work. <laughs> okay, next part of the plan: we need to unlock high alchemy, or at the very least, low alchemy. 
Okay, so there we go. We got low alchemy. That'll probably do for now. 21 magic is fine. There's actually one more part of the plan here. We need nature runes. Now you might think getting nature runes is difficult and, you know, some non-fire sail enjoyers are probably in the enchanted valley, maybe killing some druids. Maybe some people are runecrafting them. Well, we can just come to Baba Yaga's shop, buy them right here. So let's just go buy like 10,000 nature runes and eh, maybe some law runes, why not? Okay, this is the moment of truth. I've never tried high alchemy one of these things before. It says it has a high alk value of 4.8 mil, but I've never tried it. Does it work? Yes, 3.2 million gold just from a single low alk. Oh, it's so good. Plus this can just be my passive magic training as I run around the map. Oh my god, look at this. We have 100 mil already. Our cash stack's flying up. Another nice thing about Fremenic is we can buy a bunch of fishing supplies here and that maybe doesn't matter too much but on Yatizo there's a fishing supply store and we can buy items right from the fishmonger and if we make a fire here we can just cook them immediately. Look how fast our cooking level is going up. Already up to 50 cooking. Now they also sell lobsters which I was originally thinking I was gonna have to fish them but hey we can just cook them immediately for a 40 point task. Well there we go there's our first level 60 skill just like that just from lobsters. Another 40 points. I'm stupid. I don't know why I'm doing this. I just, <laughs> I might as well just buy them noted from the shop and then just go somewhere else and cook them. We have 2000 lobsters. That's probably fine for now. Yeah, we can just go right to Draenor, run up here to a fire, cook them, run back. This is way, way quicker. Look at her, <laughs> look at her XP per hour. We're getting 15 million experience per hour. That means we can get 99 in under an hour. Probably quicker if we could get a higher tier fish. That's insane. Well, here's a lady cooking. That's actually our first hard task done, which means that's 80 points for that one. So I think just those two examples can show you the power this relic has to offer. Sure, we're blitzing through league points, but what I care most about, we have 1 billion gold already. Look at that, 1 bill on the league in under 3 hours. Which makes you think a trillion gold, I think it's possible. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. We're gonna do a lot more alking, we're gonna see how much money we can get, plus we're gonna just progress through Fremenic, blitz through the early game with Fire Sail, and see where this journey takes us. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and I'll see you hopefully tomorrow.